Hey everyone, I am the Sagan from Scientist Say, and welcome back to Scientist Say Play With Yourself. Uh, this will be part two of my series uh, dealing with the consuming shadow. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of parts because I honestly have no idea how long this game is, and I haven't decided yet whether I would actually go for 100% completion or just one chance at stopping the, or one time of, of stopping the Ancient One from entering. Um, as you can see, there's no camera still. Um, that's because I'm still in my undisclosed location where I don't feel uh, that filming would be appropriate. Um, so anyway, I let's get this thing going. I'm gonna, just going to do another quick one here. I'm aiming for about 10 to 15 minutes. You know, maybe one, one more dungeon if it comes to that, and then call that good, and I will definitely be doing another one probably later tonight, and at that point I'll be at home and should have the camera activated so you can see my reactions to the frankly fucked up shit in this game. Just waiting for it to start up. There it goes. And uh, I'd also once again like to thank Dr. Worm for giving me a copy of this game. Uh, good on you, man. I uh, hope, you're, hope you're watching this and enjoying it. Um, he does not have a scientist name because uh, he is not a real doctor. He's a real worm, though, um, and I understand he's interested in things. Uh, anyway, let's get going. All right. So when we last played, I was at, at Stones Stonesmouth or Stonesmouth, you know, however the British one pronounced that. So let's take a look at our map. So I think we were headed for Lawholm originally, and we detoured to Stones Mouth because of a, a thing that was going on. But so let's head back. Well, let's go through Sackworth, I guess, because we haven't been there yet. So the car... Oh. There's a short traffic jam on the motorway. Not a major one. I should be moving again within minutes. But I take the opportunity to gap for a moment and stretch my legs. Other families have the same idea. A couple are arguing around the car in front. Their young daughter, clad in pajamas and a hastily thrown on coat, asks me if everything is going to be alright. Um, I'll be reassuring because I'm not an asshole. I pretend to have misunderstood the question and tell the girl that her parents are arguing over nothing. It doesn't mean that they love each other less. She now I'm slightly puzzled and leave me, leaves me alone. Shortly afterward, the traffic starts moving again and the family go on their way. I wonder how differently this encounter could have gone. Yeah, what if I had been an asshole? Alright, I've reached Sackworth. I'll go ahead and enter the town and see what's going on here. Shadow cast upon this town hits me like a foul stench the moment I leave the car. Everywhere I look, I see eyes drop, drop slack jaw, silent will of anguish torment. I saw a tarpaulin in the street, covering a huge mass for which something, something that may once have had limbs, a, a limb extrudes. Something far worse than a mere generalized taint has caused this. I feel I am drawn close to a source, not strong enough for a full rift, but perhaps an artifact. Let's definitely investigate further. The vileness is almost visibly radiating from a building in a dilapidated part of town. It seems to have undergone a fire which may well have been caused by the misuse of the object I seek. I have, uh, I have to recover it and I have to recover it now. Thankfully the vile air in this place makes my mind heavy and confused, which goes some way to suppress the aching terror I should feel at the prospect. Alright, we got us a dungeon, let's do this. So, okay, we have to find, recover, and a cold text. I'm going to arm my hollow point rounds, and hopefully I don't have to use much. Uh, okay, this is interesting. So the door's obviously been kicked in. That looks like the other door for this extra wide doorway. Uh, let's move on since I'm on a time limit here. So I could go this way. we got a burned up drum there, it looks like. Let's keep going forward, because why not? Okay, we got a locked door. Oh, we got a locker here. Someone left a key ring here. Hopefully I can open all the doors now. Hell yeah! It's awesome. Means I don't need to waste any lock picks. The locker. Got some industrial jewelry. I estimate it's worth about six pounds. Money is always good. Oh, fuck me! So we got a box there that doesn't look like I can 
manipulate that. Uh, I apologize, by the way, for the previous video. I know the volume, the music volume is a little loud, or the sound compared to me talking. I'm trying to sit a little closer to my mic right now. Uh, when I get home, I will actually start recording with a headset, I think, which will provide better volume. Small bottle of medicinal alcohol, which I immediately put to two uses. Yeah, cleaning my cuts and getting drunk. What's this? Looks like a page torn from a diary. Maybe I'll have time to read it once my mission is over. Okay, so in, in one of my previous uh, test runs of this game before I started recording, I, I did pick up one or two diary pages, which uh, are something that you can read I don't know if it's only when the game starts over. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I was hoping something like this would happen. So I have anxiety right now. Let's use the spell I got in the last game. Ang... Kaz? Kuz? I, I don't know. Search of magic left me feeling strange and calm. My anxiety left me as if I were wrapped in a protective cloud numb from the horrors around me. Awesome. And that actually didn't impact my sanity, if I'm not much mistaken. Worshippers consider it a grave insult to draw Kynix's symbol in white, as this is the color associated with one of their oldest and bitter rivals amongst the ancients. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Oh, it, no, shit, I didn't want to delete that. Fuck. How do I undo that? Damn, I don't. Okay. Um, that's going to fucking suck, because I'm sure that's going to come up later. Um, let's see. Well, I don't know. I hope I did not just fuck myself with that. All right, uh, let's continue on. I've noticed this piano, you know, little trill. Every time I enter a room, it's got something worth uh, searching. That's good to know. Oh. All right, I am officially out of ammo, and I am not doing well either. Thankfully, it looks like this would be the last room in the dungeon. Important part of the banishment mantra is to encamp the rune of the creature you intend to banish as the last syllable of the mantra. Be very certain that you have the right rune. Okay, that's excellent to know. That's, yeah, that's good. Okay, let's get the hell out of here! Holy shit! Um, yeah, that was not cool. That actually gave me quite a jump, and I'm sorry, the Darwin, that the camera's not on. Alright, so I'm back in the car. So I guess, uh, I don't know if I was supposed to try and kill that ghost-looking thing, or what. Uh, but, anyway, back in the car. Uh, I, I need to heal up, like, whoa. So, something about my car overlay is a little weird here. Everything's in red. I don't recall it being like that before, but I'm going to use the first aid kit. Heal myself up. Great, all my supplies are completed. That fucking sucks. Seriously, I did not click on this clue. I don't know why it got crossed off. Also, I'm seeing a lot of dots here. I'm guessing that has to do with the fact that I'm slowly going insane. Um, I could inject drugs, but I'm not going to do that for the moment. In fact, that might be why everything's in red. It's because my sanity is crappy. Um, sick. Okay, so this town's fucked, is it? Oh! Did you see the button there flip to, uh, kill, kill myself? 
I've noticed that as you go more insane, that starts to happen. I don't, I hope that I don't accidentally click that and end up offing myself. Anyway, let's go to, I think Law Home was where I was supposed to go first. I wish I had a way to look at my old text messages. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, there was something on the road there. That was weird. Sent you five from the petty cash to help fund the fight. Don't worry, it's on the taxpayer. Awesome. Hopefully there's a hospital here so I can kind of restore my sanity. My hair stands on end and I feel a scratching in the back of my mind. I can only be one thing, magic. It must have leaked through in great amounts from the outlying realms. This town must be home to a rift, one of the tears in the fabric of our universe, through which it bleeds the dark influence of realms beyond. If I can find it, then I can use the same magic as to to seal it close. Okay, this with the flashing kill myself, this sucks. Um, Casting magic has, it has difficulties. Tracing it is straightforward enough. Just isolate the strands of magical energy, the appearances of other holy creatures, and triangulate to the point that they're all moving away from. A simple set of divinations leads me to a warehouse behind a large supermarket. As I can only speculate as to who opened a rift there, the disgruntled worker seemed as good as explanation as any. No matter, it just needs to be sealed. Um, okay, in my test playthroughs, I ran into a dungeon with the rift, and I had no way to actually seal it. Um, so this could be bad. I'm going to return to the car real quick. Um, let's see. I'm going to inject the illegal drugs because i got to restore some sanity here. So, I hope this doesn't take too long. Now, if I do end up dying to in this playthrough, which is entirely likely, uh, I will, of course, start over, but that will be for the next uh, video. right now sucks oh thank god armor piercing awesome probably more devastating than the hollow points That's all it takes. Okay, so I was dumb when I was playing through this before. And I'm nearly dead. A recording device picked up a chanting of some kind of mantra tended to ward up evil. It's hard to make out, but the first part definitely sounded like Ang. Unless there's any more loot to be found, I could safely call this operation complete. Time to go. Awesome. I'm getting out of here because I'm not having any more weird shit like last time show up. Uh, oh god. I don't know what the hell that was. I'm getting out of here. 
Oh! Oh, son of a- no! Come on, I was just- ah! Oh. Alright, so each time you die, you get a, a score screen like this. Um, I have no idea what happens when you actually level up, but I assume this game is intended to be played through multiple times. Um, yeah, since it did die there, uh, well, I'll proceed to the next screen, but that takes me back to this, uh, this screen here. So you have files, which I assume are information on the creatures, and as you complete them, it'll fill out these pages, which would be actually quite useful beforehand, but of course, we don't get that. Yeah, see, so there are a few creatures discussing as the, and I assume the next word is going to be puker, but that's about it. Um, and then we, could, we have the diary page we picked up. So it looks like I got page one. I haven't gotten this one yet, so let's see what it says. More than the usual hysteria on my desk this morning, C said something about the full moon. I said it wasn't going to be a full moon for days, and he shuffled absurdly back into his office shrugging. What is it about Mondays that makes me feel... Make, yeah, makes me so filled with contempt for everyone around me. Of the day's reports, there was a usual high proportion of it, uh, reported hauntings that can be all adequately explained by cheating spouses coming home late at night. Two of them seemed a little meatier, and there was one fairly juicy woodland disappearance, so I dispatched three agents to investigate. I spend the rest of the morning going over the reports, uh, reports F keeps nagging me to look at. I made a special point of point printing them out and dropping them off in my chair so I can't really blow them up. So, from the way these diary entries are phrased, I assume that, you know, your character is kind of high-ranking within the, uh, you know, Ministry of Occultism, or whatever it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, the story will unfold, I suppose, as we get those pages. But it uh, looks like I've hit my 15-minute limit I wanted, so that'll be it for this section of uh, Play With Yourself, uh, The Consuming Shadow. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I hope somebody is watching these and enjoying it as well. And uh, I, will, I will definitely do another... Uh, portion tonight and I will have the camera on so you can see my facial reactions when weird shit shows up on screen. So uh, yeah, that'll be it for this one. Until next time, you stay classy, alright?